Hello everybody, and welcome back to my cooking show. Today, we are gonna make the most delicious Thai red curry with vegetables. First, you wanna take a streak of 18, and you wanna roll your die to figure out which character you're gonna play as. Got ourselves an eight, all right. So the hunter, that's gonna go great with this dish. So what you're gonna want, you're gonna want one and a fourth cups of jasmine rice, is my preferred. One tablespoon of coconut oil, small white onion, chopped. It's gonna make about a cup. You take a pinch of salt, a little bit of uh, like a tablespoon of a fresh ground ginger. You're paying attention, writing this down, don't you worry. I'm, I'm not gonna repeat it, but it is a video, so don't you worry. Two cloves of garlic, minced or pressed. I'd say, you know what? I'm gonna go minced. If, I, if I'm gonna be a, a gambling man, I'm gonna say that minced is gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit better for this one here. But it's okay if you want to go. You want to go pressed. Not gonna fight you on it. You got one red bell pepper, slicing into the long, two-inch thin strips. Don't you worry if it's a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. I'd say stray on the side of smaller instead of larger if you want to go for, <laughs> go for it. This is a long bit. <laughs> this is a really long bit. But we ain't stopping now. We ain't stopping now. This is the first first floor of Enter the Gungeon. I mean, what what are we gonna do? Actually, talk about the game? One yellow, orange, or green bell pepper, any of them will do. I'd say I typically go with a green just to get a little bit of color mixing in there between changing up, because it's gonna be kind of an orangey, orangey red kind of a curry by the end of it. It's a red curry after all. So I feel like adding a little bit of green in there, if you, maybe maybe some yellow, but uh, just for just for color's sake. And then, you know what? I'm gonna say one, one carrot, one or two carrots, up to you, depends on how much you like carrots. <laughs> cut, cut into strips. I am following a recipe. I am reading off a recipe. I'm not, this is not just out of my head, but this is a recipe that I do use a lot. But I'm not going to read out the whole recipe. I'm just going to read the ingredients. But then, uh, importantly, you're going to need some red curry paste. It's This one is it's pretty important. If you don't have that, it ain't going to taste like nothing, y'all. Oh my god. All right. If we're going to use this on any run, it makes sense to use it on this run where we just got it out of a chest like that. All right. Sorry. Had to unplug something. What are we at? Need one can of regular coconut milk. It's gonna be... You know what? Go for that, uh... Go for that full coconut milk. It's, it's just nice. You don't want to go with that... None of that light stuff. None of that stinky light stuff. It ain't gonna give you that flavor you're looking for. And how about, uh... One and a half teaspoons of, <laughs> of any kind of sugar. They say coconut sugar. I just use regular sugar. Don't you worry, pretty little face. I'm not gonna do the recipe. I don't know why I'm even bothering finishing the list of ingredients. Tablespoon of tamari or soy sauce. And then two teaspoons of rice vinegar. A little bit of fresh lime juice. And then I throw in a, a bunch of broccolini near the end there. So what do you do? How do you make it? You, you, you just cook it. There you go. Put it all in a pot and <laughs> there you go. Now you got a stew going, baby. Longest bit in the world over. I'm gonna close out of that window real quick because it might actually be causing some... <laughs> Causing some issues for me Weirdly enough. Yeah, as soon as it closed the things things started getting a little bit smoother there It was one of those websites that has that little pop-up going in the or it's not a pop-up But it might as well be going in the bottom right like all the time like Try the new Swiffer I don't feel like it. I Gotta make some red curry. You think I got time to clean my floors? Do that when I'm done with the curry when I get all my uh my broccolini st stems all over. You're gonna put the broccolini in it? Oh, I mean, I obviously everybody's gonna make this because there's clear instructions. Uh, if you're gonna put broccolini in it, make sure that you cut it long ways. Cut it down down the stem into thin pieces because if you're gonna put it in something like this that's mostly a chopped up kind of thing, you wanna make sure that it's thin enough to get cooked through all the way. Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck with an uncooked broccolini and cooked everything else. What are you doing with that? Get out of here with that. Forgot to mention, your choice of protein is obviously, uh, you know, something you can throw into that. If you're gonna do, if you're gonna do tofu, don't you dare think about putting it in without marinating it in the curry first. I will end you, like I ended this bullet king. And alas, the bit is over, and I'm becoming the rat. Just, cause, what is happening? If this is, like, somehow the rat boots, it's not. 
I mean, we we have to, right? Like, I I never take the rat items because if you take them in the rat room, it's not that fun because you you can get it every single run in the same way. And, but I find it, like, it's more novel to get it out of a chest like that, you know? I feel like maybe we can actually use it a bit here. Because you never use it on this floor. It's always after the rat. It's just more exciting. I don't I don't know. This is... I'm trying to justify it to myself. I, you, I think you guys know what I mean. You, like, you get it right now. Chef Rito is just trying to get some cheese items here. The game is like, you know what? I appreciate the bit. He's committed for an entire floor already. Let's give him some uh, <laughs> some cheese-based items. Some items do fromage. Whoop, whoop. Hey! Hey! Anyway, if anyone's like genuinely curious <laughs> about this recipe, I will just say where it is. There's a website called Cooking Kate. They have a, a red curry <laughs> that is really freaking good. Uh... Coincident oh my god coincidentally vegetarian and vegan unless you put meat in it if you care But honestly the best curries are made with coconut milk anyway, so gotta be honest don't at me Whoop. Hope you enjoyed the cooking show. We got an insane run going for you Dare I say an easy victory we're playing as the hunter too like on top of it. That's not a, necessarily the toughest of starts to begin with. Black boys. We'll take that. We'll take that too. Look kind of nice when you're in, in your little bit of yellow there. How much damage does this actually do? Like, I know it's an amazing defensive item, and it seems like it does, like, pretty good damage. But does it, though? Because it seems like it's taken forever. Oh. Be gone! Block. Let's get that flak. We could turn full rat. Ah, uh, okay, let's see what happens. Let, let's just see what happens. This could be interesting. I That could have been really annoying if we were a little bit closer to that because it you saw that it shot up like at a 45 degree angle northeast I don't have the best aim, but I don't have that bad aim This is not my fault <laughs> it's not my fault. Yikes, dude. There we go. Pet the dog. Pet the dog. Let's answer some Discord questions. Why freaking don't we? Oh no asks, what kind of jobs would you think would be interesting even if you don't think you can do them? Uh, anything like... Anything like being a, a, a vet, like a vet technician, just anything like that. I would find very, very interesting, but I would not be able to do it because I am hyper squeamish and I would get far too emotional about the animals who were, you know, going through issues. Yes, it's like, yes, the job is fixing those problems. I wouldn't be able to do it, though. I know I wouldn't be able to, to handle it, even if I wasn't <laughs> squeamish. I had to give it a chance, see if it was another rat item there. But other than that, like, I don't know. I, I'd like to do game design. I don't know if it's in the cards. I don't know if it's something that I could could do. It's there, just because you like games doesn't mean you should make games. You know, for example, I think I maybe could. Like, I, I, I well, anybody probably could, but I don't know if I like have it in me per se. Get out of here, Mac Ten. It never ends. All right, we'll fight the boss and then make up our mind. Hopefully, we just get, like, a lot of money. This is pretty good damage. 
pretty good damage for something that can't run out of ammo. Oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. Oh, baby, oh, baby. Mac, 10. Ah. Give me that cheese. Nice. Excalibur, we take those. This is our knife so that we can cut our onions. Everybody take your knife, cut your onions like this. Watch the technique, don't cut your fingers. All right, fine. Just because it's the rad run, it's the run du fromage. All right. We avoided the bullets. It's supposed to be something like that. What? Time slowed down for a long time. I know it was because of our blue guan stuff like that. I'm not I'm not saying why did that happen? I'm like it seemed like that happened a long time. Got a rat room. Okay. Feel like somebody should switch back to their cheese gun because they were using it as a bit of a crutch there. Let me know what you want to, <laughs> what you want us to cook next on uh, on Rito Cooks here. I'll, I'll, I'll come up with my best my re best recipe, or if I have one that I follow, I'll let you know. Oh, I looked away. I looked away. Oh, I looked away. JZR, what country would you like to go to, visit, and why? Uh. Ones that I would like to, if it didn't entail a an insanely long plane ride, would be either Japan or Australia. Why? I mean, honestly, that for Australia, it's always been the wild. Like, I don't know, it's just been one place that I've always just been interested in. And Japan, because, like, I just I feel like there's so many interesting things, like, interesting things that came from... Japan. I'd love to see, like, I don't know. I don't know. I've just seen a lot of cool things from Japan. Like, a lot of cool places, a lot of cool, you know, thing, games and stuff like that that have been made. Came out of Japan, stuff like, of that nature. It'd just be neat to see. Neat enough to endure the plane ride? For me, probably not. Planes ain't my jam as a claustrophobic man. Right. That could have been bad, man. No, man. Probably should not be cheese him. Alright. God, the, the gun is. It's insane! Like, ice is so crazy in this game. I Like, the ability to freeze is already so strong. And the cheese is super freeze. The cheese is super freeze. It's like, it's, it's like a, what is it? Ooh. Chemical reaction of some sort. Ooh. It's, it, it expands and expands. It's an outbreak. What do you got? What are you selling? Uh, nothing of interest for me. Alright. Got a cheese wheel. We're not even using that as effectively as we could because it's just. No need to, you know? Like, it's so strong. Oh! oh.
Got him. Heart and a half. Like we were going to lose a heart and a half in there. Dang, that room was just a freebie. Even we didn't have the Bechiser and we weren't using the Bechiser, this run seems seems to please the Reet. I like it so far. Speaking my language. Speaking my language. Which is some nice passives, like some solid guns. I don't need anything insane to have a good run. Oh. Buster gun. Hmm. Oh, the reload does a shot. It's become efficient to fire reload. Fire reload. Oh, this is sick. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Tree Stars asks, when and where was the last place you traveled for vacation? What was one memorable, funny experience you had on that vacation? Uh, I'll say the most recent, and then I'll say the, the second most recent, because I got too... Don't want to end it on a bummer note. I, my most recent was, like, less than a year ago, I went to London, and I got my Nintendo Switch stolen. Someone broke into our Airbnb and stole my Nintendo Switch. That was pretty memorable for me, and very... Uh, stinky. I hated that. I liked going there, and the place was cool. I like, I like, I liked London, and I don't blame London for someone breaking into my my Airbnb to steal my Nintendo Switch. But it happened. Uh, and then on a more positive note, like two-ish years ago, I went to Switzerland and went, and I, we, my girlfriend and I, what do you used used kayaks? I don't know, used kayaks. We kayaked. There we go. <laughs> I just can't think of the, fre the freaking verbiage there. We used we we kayaked <laughs> in Lake Interlaken in Switzerland, and that was insanely cool. Very cool. Ha ha ha! But that was really fun. Really fun. I had a lot of fun in Switzerland. There's a more. Lo I'm I'm more of a low key. Uh, vacation kind of a guy, like a not, and, but not even necessarily like a beachfront one. I don't know. I I like nice scenery. I like mountains. I like grassy areas. Up, up, down, right, down, up. Wow, genius man. I'm weird doing it this way, but it, it's the most efficient. It's the most efficient. That's like a fact. Right? Unless I'm missing something. I don't even care about that. Up, up, down. Right? That was beautiful. Down up. Strange. We did it though. We did it. Same thing as last time. If I if I mess up and I need more ammo or more health than I've got, I deserve to die. That's my opinion. <laughs> Genius man. Ooh, that slowdown. Working nicely there. I just I can't rely a hundred percent on the uh, on the reflecting. I can we rely on it like pretty well? Yes, we got one. Oh, that one seemed faster than the other time. Guys, I'm doing bad. Yep. 
Get me out of here. All right. In we go. I guess we could just sit around like this, and they should just die from the swipe, right? The swipe right, please. Top right, by the way. Gotta use that invincibility tactically. I right, just whatever. Just do a little extra damage. Just slapping, <laughs> slapping right here. Getting up close and a little bit, per a little bit personal. That's fine. That's fine. Could we get away with this? How did he do it? He is a living god. <laughs> oh, getting with that melee. I feel a little bad about that. It seems like a little bit of dirty play to me, but oh well, oh well. Like I said, if he gets to use a springy uh, punching glove, we get to do this. We get to do whatever we want. Bop! No! <laughs> Well, we got the three punch on that one, which honestly I think is the most annoying to get the three punch on. Come on, give me something to counter, man. Something else to counter. Something else to counter, come on. Shoot. I don't go for this. Yep. The three-star punch does like half the health, but it's just, it's so slow is the problem. Sometimes he just doesn't do the moves that you are wanting. Like, we gotta get him to do it. Come on, do the punches. Normal punches. Normal punches. Oh, oh, oh. We're screwed now. Come on. Come on. No. Don't do this to yourself. He did it to himself. There's nothing I can do. I had to do it to him. Otherwise, we would have had to wait for him to eat the cheese. That's just not about me. Ain't about that life. We'll take the cheese down. I just want to see what we get out of all the chests. Gross noise, I'm sorry. One's a mimic. There might be more than one that's a mimic. We'd a rat, we'd a rat, we'd a rat now. But why? But why? You see, but why? Scroll down on our questions here real quick. All right. Patreon supporter Nitro asks, Dear Lich Slayer 9000, it's your boy, Lich Slayer 9000, back at it again with another Lich Streak run. How is your day going? You know what? Today has been weird. Uh, thank you for asking. I Somehow it has been good. Despite what I'm going to say, I I woke up ridiculously early, 
And by that, I mean not that early for a normal human being, but early for me, like an hour, two hours, or hour, two hours earlier than I would normally wake up so that I could go into to work at my retail job, only to find out when I get there that I wasn't even scheduled to work. <laughs> and I was excited, but like annoyed that I got up and, and went to do that, to not even get paid to be there. Like, but yeah, I know I didn't spend any time there. On my way home, I hit a pothole and got a flat tire. And then I spent the day learning how to, I mean, cause that was the first time I've had to deal with that. Learning how to take off and replace the tire. I went and bought a new tire, got it changed. And it's uh, 5, 5.30 PM. And I'm just starting my work day. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's been, uh, it's been a good day though. Like, despite the annoyance, I'm feeling better. Like, I just mentally, I'm feeling, I'm feeling better. Physically, I'm feeling better than I've been feeling. So, I'd say the answer's the answer's good. I I got everything set up. I I briefly mentioned a little bit of a pipe dream I had maybe a couple episodes ago that <laughs> your boy wants to maybe start learning how to. How to get into speedrunning, namely getting into speedrunning Katamari, and I I got everything set up I for uh, for being able to do that, and and like I've got like splits and everything. I got the whole sh shebang for being able to like record and like put it up in a professional way if I ever so choose to do so. And that is exciting. And I even have, like, I got, like, a fancy... I never use it because I don't even record... I don't record uh, console games anymore. I have a Elgato HD60. I got, like, a like a legitimate capture card. And I even have a, a special thing that makes, makes it so I can record PS2 games in, like, HD. Or, I, you know, uh, not just PS2. Well, actually... No, yeah, the, the, the PlayStation, PlayStation 2 games in, in HD-ish. H -ish -d. So I got like all these fancy supplies and I'm not even using them, so I'm kind of excited about that. I got that set up today too after having issues with that. So you know what? If you ask this on most other days, I might have given you the most mundane answer possible, like, it's been a pretty good day. Or like, I don't feel well. <laughs> but today, you know what? You got a, you got a zesty day. Thank you for your support on Patreon, Nitro. I super appreciate it, you absolute champion. Thank you so much. Anybody else, if you're, if you're interested, just just to say, just to plug it, because people seem to think that it was not a problem if I wanted to plug the Patreon at any point. I don't like doing it, but I have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash Retromation. If you are interested, you get a fancy role in the Discord, which gives you access to information earlier than other people and you get the next higher tier then yeah then you get yourself in all of the descriptions of every single video retroactively too i'm not just talking uh, i got a thing that makes it so i can i replace it in all like 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 a thousand of them or something a thousand the thousand ish most recent videos it's, it's crazy man it's crazy and that's like you know, it's mostly, and you get to support me and make it so when I, <laughs> days that I, I go into work and it turns out I don't actually have to work, that kind of, that doesn't put a, a financial toll on me, or if I have to suddenly buy a, an $80 tire out of nowhere, like that kind of thing, it's not a, as much of a disaster. That kind of thing, you know, it really, it, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. And thank you, Nitro. Thank you, everybody else who's supporting. Really appreciate it. Big thank yous. Whoop, whoop. There's also another thing that I, I, if you're not interested in like in Patreon, I just got I got access to another thing that I don't even understand. If anybody wants to like, be the very very first person to do it and be all special, apparently I got a new new access to a new thing on my channel called YouTube memberships, which is. As far as I know, gives you like a special badge in the YouTube comments section of my channel. What else it gives you, I don't even know. I haven't looked into it really. 
I just got it like not that long ago. If anybody wants to be the very, very first one, you can say, hey, I was the first person to, to be a, a YouTube member. Be your YouTube member. Then I'd say, hey, that's freaking cool. No! Oh! But I don't know what that does. I know it I know it supports me <laughs> so, like in a way like like Patreon, like the money goes to me. That's what I know. This fight should have been really easy. I mean it is. But I shouldn't have been hit is what I'm getting at there. Synergy though. Bullet or the egg? It looks bigger. Didn't make a lot of sense to do that in the end. But we didn't know that. We didn't know that. The yellow orange asks, hey Retro, don't mind me. Asking, but I recently beat the pass for the first time directly after beating the dragon for the first time. Now he's easy to beat. Is it normal to occur? If I beat the rat, would he progressively get easier? I've never done it before. Absolutely. Absolutely. The game, like, and it's not, it doesn't even just boil down to bosses. It's like, it's like the floors, everything, everything in this game. You, you'll just slowly get progressively better at it like that. It'll be that way for the, yeah, for the bosses, for the, for everything. Floors, bosses, specific, just specific enemies that give you trouble, you name it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. In due time. Jacob asks <laughs> that you're a, a big baller on Twitch. Whoop. Jacob, I need I must ask. You're if you're if you're the Jacob on Twitch, what I know that you are not only a Twitch subscriber, but you are a tier 3 Twitch sub. So if that is you, and I am mistaken, and I'm not mistaken, and that is you, you should link your account, man. You get your special rewards, dude. Uh, but alas, now you're big baller on Twitch, what's the first thing you're going to splurge on? Uh, attire, man. Attire. I don't know. I, like, ever since my, like, my channel took off quite a bit for a... Not H &E. Well, it took off for AG and D, but it took off extra for a uh, Farewell to Arms, and Twitch took off too. So like, it's been a big deal. I haven't splurged on anything. I just like, I, I'm just like saving my money for disasters. Like right now, that's really it. <laughs> I and I and it's unfortunately, like they're coming. <laughs> like they're happening. Like I, I'm mostly just like trying to keep everything running. And uh, if I'm going to splurge on anything, I'm going to try to splurge on going full-time, you know, if that makes sense. S saving my money so that I can go full-time is my quote-unquote splurge. I bought an office chair, a fancier office chair, but it, I, even that I bought on Craigslist, and I've been mulling over getting one for, like, I don't know, it feels like four years. So it's, it's just, like, it's been a long time coming. And it's, it's for posture's sake, so that I don't have to spend a bajillion dollars on chiropractor bills. Because that uh, old one, it was, it was nice for, for a $5 thrift store chair. It was, it was doing some work. It was putting in hours, man. It was putting in hours. Like 800 of my Gungeon hours were in that chair. And you could tell by the way that it squeaked. You can tell by the way my chair hair squeaked. It's a gungeon chair, no time to talk. Oh. It's like working pretty well as a defensive weapon. I'm just, it's, I don't know. I just feel like I can't trust it though. Ooh. Yeah, boy. We take those. We take those. I just can't leave that door up. I have to put it down. I don't, I just, it doesn't make sense, but I have to. Swoopity swipe. Gotta fill up that infinite ammo dueling laser, you know me. This synergy's kinda banging. 
And by kind of, I mean it's, it's real banging. It gives it some big value. Makes it more ammo efficient in addition to doing more damage. Like, I love that when synergies do this kind of thing. I mean, I, I don't know if it's intentional that you're supposed to, they want, I don't think they want you to use it this way. But you can't stop me, dog roll. Can't stop me now. Because I'm having a good time, having a good time. Ooh. Synergy what, though? Mad cats. I am perplexed. Let's shoot out more bullets. Is that just what it is? Shoots out more bullets? I don't even need that. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I need it! Oh! Wrong active item. No, man. I don't want to deal with those, man. <laughs> this is working pretty well. Surprising probably nobody. C O F O asks. Should I get Nuclear Throne or Stardew Valley? Oh, man, they are com <laughs> completely different vibes there. If you already got Gungeon and you want something to fill it, you know, if you want something to fill the same void, you obviously go for for uh, for Nuclear Throne. It's going to be a closer vibe. You'll appreciate it a lot. It's... I feel like it doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't have the same replayability that Gungeon has to me. It really doesn't. It's got the same vibes, and if Gungeon wasn't a thing, I'd probably be more excited about about Nuclear Throne. Stardew Valley is an addicting, fantastic, relaxing, casual, amazing experience. Everybody, go check out my Stardew Valley series. Watch that stuff from the beginning, because it is a banger, and you're going to want to see it from the beginning. It's just such a nice series. Such a fun time. Such a fun time. And uh, the, the game, it's just a really good game. It's a really good, relaxing game. Originally made... Whoa! Made by one guy. Now there's a, there's a team of people working on it now, but... It's insane. If you, if you like Animal Crossing, if you like Harvest Moon, anything of that kind of nature, you're probably going to really like Stardew Valley. This is crazy, dudes. Okay, I don't like that that hit me. Our rolls are neat. Neat rolls, dude. Neat rolls. I'm, tr I'm just rolling too much. We got Chloranthy Ring, too. I forgot about that. If only it happened every single roll, no matter what, we would be. Oh, we'd be sitting pretty. Good thing I'm rolling, like, way too much this run anyways. We get extra value out of this sucker. But it's good to roll just to get the bullets on the screen because the lightning is going to connect to our our bullets anyways, even if the actual, you know, just the, uh, the thrown bullets aren't doing too much. Hit. Hip. Good deal, good deal, good deal. Hit. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we have the ability to roll still. 
Pack can roll. Take that fish, he ain't the only one. Give it, you boy. Bouncy bullets, you cowards. This is a nice run. This is just a really nice run. Whoop. How can we make this crazy with our dodge rolls? It's, it's just like doing more dodge rolls wouldn't really do anything because there's like an internal cooldown on how often we can get the cat bullet getting thrown anyways. I have an itchy ear. Oh no! Shoo, shoo. Why did I think that this had a lot of pushback? Well, because it does. Why didn't it push back the way I wanted? Why didn't I get exactly what I wanted to happen to happen? God, the Nintendo... Oh, the Nintendo Direct is so freaking close, guys. I can't even... I can't even... Give us Pokemon Snap 2, you cowards. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. It could happen. But it's probably not happening. Here's my wild, wild wants. My wild, wild wants. Give me Pokemon Snap 2. Give me a new Chibi Robo game. Give me a good Paper Mario game. Like, hell, you can give me Super Paper Mario 2. I'll, I'll take it at this point. I'll take Super Paper Mario 2 at this point. Uh, I liked that quite a bit. Uh, what else? Uh, give me a new custom robo game. Like those, those are my my wild my wild wild wants. Uh, hit me with that Metroid Prime trilogy remastered. It's been rumored for a long time. Give it to us. My guess is like it was going to come out. Like, not that. Like, it, it maybe it was even like scheduled to be out now but then they probably want it to come out a very specific distance away from metroid prime 4 but the metroid prime trilogy remastered for switch i i, I it's gonna happen at some point i i just i feel it i feel it whoop maybe not even it doesn't even have to be remastered like it probably should be though at this point at this point. I know they, they did the Metroid Prime Trilogy for Wii. I have I have that. Man, those games are so good. Give me those. I want those. I don't know what I'm thinking with that. Hell, hit me with like a... Hit me with a, another Mario sports game. I don't care. Like... Hit me with the Mario Sports game. Give that Aces treatment. Ooh, baby. I'll be playing that. Any of them. Give me, like, give me a new Strikers. Give me a new... Uh, the baseball ones are always good because the story is always... Like, the story mode is always legitimately good in these. Like, super, super worth a play. Even just single player, which is super nice. What else do I want? Nope. <laughs> I'm getting hit so much. This has been happening a lot. Like, I'm just... I get to this floor and I turn that... The old brain off. Good thing is it really doesn't matter. Hip. But yeah, hit me with that. Uh, the Super Smash Brothers DLC updates too. Get Banjo in there, you cowards. deserves it and honestly i think it's almost even likely at this point release the weege too the waluigi you have waluigi's own game too you cowards that's that's my super outland outlandish one give waluigi his own game make it a sequel to to wario world for the gamecube but with waluigi super waluigi world 
It's just fun to say. Like, come on. You'll sell a million copies just because it's fun to say. Toad got a game. <laughs> oh, ye, oh, ye, ha, ha. This is such a strong run. Uh... Did I even hit? Run! Run! Oh, 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 oh. I'm trying to think what else I would even want from that. I, you know what? We're, we're done with the episodes. So we don't need to. We don't need to worry about it. We'll find out. Like by the time this episode goes out, is it gonna be the day? The direct's either, either gonna be the day this comes out or the next day. So holy moly! Whatever, though. Regardless, regardless, we're playing into the Gungeon, or at least we were. We're on a streak of 14, and... Oh, what's that? The rice is done. Let's get that curry made, everybody. Pop on it back into the kitchen with me here for a moment. And just <laughs> Google Cookie and Kate. Uh, red curry. You'll find the recipe I was talking about for those of you who were curious. But subscribe for daily Enter the Gungeon videos and recipes. Ooh, no, not that. It's not going to be coming up <laughs> curry. I can't, I can't give a recipe for the whole first floor every single time, but that Excalibur synergy was pretty dang sweet. Worked well with the shock rounds. Cat bullet king thrown with the shock rounds was amazing too. Subscribe for daily Enter the Gungeon videos. Join the Discord. Ask away any questions that I will answer in the video like I did today. Talk about Enter the Gungeon, learn about Enter the Gungeon, learn how to get better at the game, stuff like that. All in there as well. Follow me on twitch.tv slash retromation to catch me streaming games live. Support on Patreon, patreon.com slash retromation to get special benefits. And help your boy buy tires. And uh, go to cookieandcake.com for recipes. Uh, follow on Twitter, retromation YT. Retromation's taken. Uh, do I even have anything else? Uh, Retromation.chrono.gg to buy video games and help support me while doing it in my special storefront. What else we got? What else we got? Sell out time, sell out time. We can do anything we want. Uh, buy curly fries at Arby's. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. <laughs>